Hello and welcome in the class. In today's practice, we'll focus on our hip area and our emotional body. It is said that hips are the place in our body where we store all the things we don't want to feel, all the emotions we want to suppress, stuff we don't want to deal with. And the focus of today's class will be working into this area and embracing it all, feeling it all. You're going to need only your yoga mat and a block and you're good to go. Let's begin in a seated position. So in a cross-legged seat, maybe on your block, it's always nice um, to have your hips a little higher to keep your spine upright. So I'm gonna place a block underneath my hips. The knees are releasing down, the feet are crossed. And let's start with a little pranayama, dirga pranayama. You wanna breathe into your belly then into your lungs and then all the way up into your clavicles. Each inhale is eight counts long, each exhale is six counts long. First four counts go into your belly, two counts into the lungs, two counts into your clavicles, and then as you exhale, first four counts regular, the last two, you wanna pull your belly in. So the full round looks like this, inhaling, one, two, three and four into your belly, five, six into the lungs, seven, eight into the clavicles, exhale, two, three, four, pull your belly in, five and six. Bring your hands to your legs, close your eyes, take a deep breath in, Sigh out through your mouth, send the energy down to your sits bones to ground. Close the mouth, continue breathing through your nose. Beginning with our Dirga Pranayama. Exhale everything. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, exhale, two, three, four, five, and six. Inhale to the belly, two, three, four, lungs, five, six, clavicles, seven, eight, exhale, two, three, four, pull the belly in, five, six, Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Continue breathing like this in your own pace, on your own. Bring your left hand to your heart. Bring your right hand to your belly. Your shoulders are soft. Your focus fully on your Dirga Pranayama. Just a few more rounds on your own. Your next exhale, releasing your Dirga Pranayama and continue breathing in a, in a regular way, not trying to make your breath anything, anything special, just breathe naturally, but keep your hands on your body and take a few moments to ask yourself if there are any emotions, if there's anything 
you don't like to deal with, anything you usually run away from, want to suppress, don't want to look at. What I learned was that, and it was surprising to me, but it was the fact that all emotions are good and valid and necessary. And even those we don't like to feel like anger or jealousy or envy, they all have something to teach us, something to tell us. They are an information. And if we listen, they'll point us into a direction where we should go and show us stuff we can do something about and really change to to feel better in the end so let's take these moments to feel into ourselves and accept and invite everything that comes up bring your hands to your heart Thumbs pressing against your chest. Think of your intention for this practice. What do you want to embrace? What do you want to feel? Which emotion do you want to devote this practice to? And then begin to rub your palms together to create a lot of heat between your hands. Bring your hands in front of your face, feel the warmth and gently blink your eyes open and release the hands down. With your inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, twist to the right, your left hand comes behind your right knee, right hand behind the body. You can also release the block and place it to the side. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to twist. Inhale, lengthen again. Exhale to come deeper into your twist. With your next inhale, keep your left hand where it is. Just reach your right arm up. Exhale, side stretch. Reach with your right arm to the direction where your left knee is pointing. Taking two breaths here, inhale, exhale, chin away from the chest, right side of your chest reaching up, breathe in and out. Inhale to come to the center, reach both arms up, exhale, twist to the other side. Your right hand comes behind your le left knee, left hand behind the body. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale to come deeper into a twist. Inhale. Exhale, look over your left shoulder. One more breath in, lengthen the spine. Exhale to twist a little deeper. Inhale to reach your left arm up. Keep your right hand where it is. Exhale to reach to the side where your right knee is pointing. Your chin is away from the chest. Left arm nice and extended. Two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale to slowly come up. Reach both hands up. Exhale to interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhale, chest comes forward. Reach with your hands back. Chase the ground behind you. Exhale to bend your elbows. Bring your hands to your right body side. Elbows close together. Shoulders down. Head falls to your right shoulder. Breathe in here. Exhale to roll your head over to the left. Inhale. Exhale to the right. Inhale, extend your arms just forward. Exhale to bend your elbows, bring your hands to your left side, shoulders down, head falls to the left. Inhale. 
Exhale, roll your head over to the right. Inhale. Exhale to the left. Inhale to extend your arms and your chest forward, arms back. And exhale to release. Place your hands in front of you and we'll come into our Malasana, our yogic squat at the front of the mat. Bring your feet mat distance apart, toes pointing away from you, knees pointing in the same direction as your toes. And if your heels are not coming all the way down, you can place a blanket or a bolster or blocks underneath your heels for now. Let's make it nice and dynamic. Let's move to the right and to the left and really uh, you're encouraged to do anything that feels good. And what I like to do is reach my hands forward, maybe sink the chin to the chest, stretch the back of the body, the spine, muscles, the back of the neck, while moving in the hips to the right and to the left. And then slowly coming back to the center, bring your hands to your heart, with your elbows you're pressing against your inner thighs, make sure your knees are just not falling in. We'll always come back to our malasana and do a little movements in between. As you inhale, interlace your fingers, push your hands forward and lift your hips up so that your thighs are parallel to the floor. Exhale to come down. Inhale to stand up all the way, interlace your fingers, arms reaching up, maybe add a little back bend. Exhale, return to your malasana. Inhale, come up to standing. Again, arms interlace, look to the right. Come down. Inhale, come up to standing, look to the left. And again, down. Halfway. Malasana, all the way up. Malasana, to the right. Malasana, to the left. Malasana, halfway. Malasana, all the way up. Malasana, to the right. Malasana, to the left. Malasana. Let's stay in the yogic squat. Bring your feet a little bit further away from each other and begin to lift your hips up. So coming a little higher, slowly finding our goddess pose. So you can bring your hands to your thighs, walk your feet even further away. Make sure your knees are not falling in, so they are pointing in the same direction as your toes. Your belly is in, your tailbone drops down. Bring your hands to your heart. And let's find a little bouncing here. Deep and steady breath in and out. Inhale. Exhale to bring your right forearm to your right leg. Your left hand will press against your left inner thigh. Left shoulder drops down. Look to the right. Deep breath in. Full exhale. Inhale to come to the center. Exhale, switch to the other side. Left forearm on your left thigh. Right hand pressing against your right inner thigh. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale to come back to the center. Hands to your heart one more time. Hold. Deep breath in. Sigh out through the mouth. Release your hands down. Your right foot will step back and you'll come into your lizard position. In your lizard pose, you want to keep your hands in one line with your left foot and move as you want. <laughs> so do whatever feels good right now. You can move to the front and to the back. You can move in half circles and circles. And then drop your right knee down. 
and we'll find a little stillness in our lizard position. So you can stay on the hands, maybe come down to your forearms, maybe even take a block, place a block underneath your elbows. Whatever you prefer, whatever feels good. And as an option, hug your right heel in towards your hips. Lift your left arm up and reach back. So you want to pull the leg in. With the inhale, press with the foot against the hand. With your exhale, with your hand against the foot. Inhale, foot against the hand. Exhale, hand against the foot. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Three more breaths in your lizard pose, either on your hands or in your elbows or with your foot in your hand. <laughs> Two. And one. Slowly release. Push with your hands against the floor. Lift your left leg up. Come to your three-legged dog. Bend your left knee. Open your left hip. And take a few circles with your left knee in the air. In one direction. In the other direction. And then extend your left leg up. Exhale to step with your left foot between your hands. Your right heel comes down to the floor for your first warrior. Left knee is on top of your left ankle. Right foot turned in. Arms reach up. Taking two breaths here. Make sure you're not collapsing in the lower back. Lengthen through the spine. Heart reaches up. Breathe in. And out. Take an inhale. With your exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Extend your left leg. Turn your right toes out. Bend your right knee, coming to your ninja squat, your skandasana. And it's really up to you how deep you go. Maybe you want to stay a little higher. Maybe you're coming a little lower. And we'll make this dynamic. So from our skandasana, We'll bend the left knee and come into our second warrior. Reach the arms up, connect the hands, and come back to the skandasana. In your own pace, in your own rhythm, you can close your eyes if you want to, and take this as a way to move through your hips, to strengthen the hips, but also bring a little more mobility into them. The core of your body is strong, Chest open. Taking one more round of your ninja squat sequence. <laughs> and we'll meet in a second warrior. So your left knee is bent on top of your left ankle, arms and shoulders in one line, right toes turned in. Deep breath in, lift the shoulders up. Sigh out through the mouth, relax the shoulders. One more breath in, shoulders up. Sigh out, relax the shoulders. Turn your left hand up. Right hand goes behind the back, dancing warrior. Exhale to windmill your hands down. Vinyasa, step your left foot back, downward facing dog. Plank pose. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Come to your tippy toes, look between your hands, bend your knees, and as you inhale, hop lightly to the outer edges of your mat, coming back into your malasana. Again, we're going to walk the toes a little bit more to the outside, lift the hips up, and find our goddess position. Spine long, belly in, tailbone down. Two breaths. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale to release your hands down and step your left foot back, coming to your lizard pose. In your lizard position, begin to move as you want. I encourage you to close your eyes and move into the place in your hips where you usually feel a little tightness and try to bring some movement and some breath into this area. You can move back and forth to the side in circles, maybe up and down if that feels good. And then we're going to stop and release the left knee down. Find the same variation you found also on the other side. So either staying on the hands or coming down to your forearms. Optionally bending your left knee, reaching with the right hand back. And with your inhale, you're going to push with the foot against the hand. Exhale, hand against the foot. Inhale, foot against the hand. Exhale, hand against the foot. One more. Inhale, foot against the hand. Exhale, hand against the foot. Hold here, either on the hands or on the forearm. Three breaths. Two. Deep inhale. And exhale. One, in, and out. Slowly release your left foot. Hands come down to the floor. Push with your hands against the floor. Lift your right leg up. Bend your right knee. Open your right hip. Again, beginning to circle with your right knee in the air. Drawing circles in one direction. Drawing circles in the other direction. And then extend your right leg up. Exhale to step with your right foot between your hands. Left heel comes down to the floor. Right knee on top of your right ankle for your first warrior. Reach your arms up. Your belly stays in. You're trying to square the hips. But don't stress your left knee. Chest looks forward. Hard up, two breaths, inhale, exhale, one, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale to bring your hands to your heart, begin to extend your right leg, turn your left toes out, find your skandasana. Again, making it dynamic. Inhale to stretch your arms, bend your right knee. Second warrior, continue reaching your arms up. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, second warrior, arms up. Exhale, skandasana. Do a few more rounds in your own pace. Follow your breath. Strong legs, open hips, strong core of the body. And the next time you come into your second warrior, we're going to meet there, stand there, stay there. Right knee on top of your right ankle, left toes turned in, arms and shoulders in one line. Inhale to lift the shoulders up. Exhale down. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale down. Inhale, right arm goes up, left hand behind the back, dancing warrior. Exhale, both hands to the floor. Step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Vinyasa. Inhale, plank pose, shoulders over hands. Exhale, chaturanga, upward facing dog, inhale, chest open, knees off the floor, exhale, downward facing dog, 
Take a deep breath in. Out through the mouth. Inhale to count to your tippy toes. Look between the hands. Bend the knees. And as you inhale, hop this hand between the hands, not to the outer sides. Big toes touch. Inhale, halfway fold. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale to look forward. Bring your feet hip width apart. And we'll find a little uh, funky forward fold here. <laughs> Take your block and step with your right foot on the block. We're starting in a standing position, hips in one line. Lengthen the spine. Exhale to fold forward and down. Release your hands to the floor. Extend your right leg to the degree that's available. And right now and right here, we just want to relax. So relax the shoulders, relax the face. Imagine that each exhale unlocks your body and unlocks the muscles and allows you to come a little deeper. Take a deep breath in and out. Relax the mouth, the jaw. Feel the stretch at the back side of your right leg. Three more breaths. In through the nose. And out. Two. In. And out. One. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale to look forward. Step down from the block. Bring your block underneath your left foot. For starting in a standing position. So go ahead and stand up. Hips in one line as you begin. Lengthen the spine with the inhale. Exhale to fold forward and down. Hands to the floor. And then slowly begin to extend your left leg to the degree that's available. Relax your body as much as you can. Feel the stretch at the back side of your left leg coming from the calves behind the knee through the hamstrings all the way to the lower back. Send deep inhales and exhales into this area. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly look forward. Remove the block. And we're going to bring the feet as wide apart as, as the mat. So mat distance apart. Toes turn slightly in. And I'm going to give you different, um, different variations for the following poses. Decide where you want to stop. So begin with your knees bent and your hands underneath your heels from the outside, elbows close to your legs. And you can stay here, beginning with a knees bent, almost like a ski skiing position, skier. <laughs> and with the exhale, keep the body between the legs and begin to stretch your legs straight. Neck is relaxed. So this would be option number one. Option number two, you come from the outside with the hands and then go in between your legs. Yeah, so from the outside, in between the legs, knees bent and you try to grab your ears. So either or, as you're holding your ears, again, use your exhale to help you straighten the legs. And there is a third option as well, a little crazy one, but it's fun to try. So you can try 
This time you come from the inside, place your hands between or behind your ankles and get your shoulders as much between the knees as possible. Stay here or reach with your hands back to grab your pants or maybe even connect your fingers. So option number one, two or three in each option we are trying to extend the legs. So wherever you are, stretch your legs and hold for three breaths. Two. And one. Inhale. Exhale. And then slowly begin to bend your knees. Bring your hands to the floor. Bring your hands on the inner side of your feet and then slowly behind. So I like to step on my hands with the, with the heels. And for some, this will be very intense in the wrists. So you can use blocks underneath your hands. But we want to step on the hands, squeeze the knees in, and then slowly bend the knees and drop the hips lower. When you get here, begin to crawl your toes forward and towards each other. And we'll try our Bhuja Pindasana. So as you get your toes forward, you wanna play around with lifting one, the other, maybe both. You can cross your ankles and hold here in this funky little uh, hand balance, or maybe even extend your legs for your Titibasana, firefly. Wherever you are, hold. Yeah, and if you fell, come back. Two. And one. Slowly release your hips down. Connect your feet. Inhale to open the chest, lengthen the spine. Exhale to walk your hands forward. Here, I like to grab my legs and actually, if I was opening a bottle, rotate my ties a little bit more to the outside, so away from me. Release your head down, palms pointing up to the ceiling. Taking three deep breaths in through the nose. Out through the nose. Two in. And out. One in. And out. Inhale to slowly walk up. Gently close your knees, bring your feet in front of you, hands behind your body. We have done many forward folds today, so let's do one little chest opener. Inhale to lift your hips up. You can, don't have to release your head back. Two breaths in and out. One, inhale. And exhale, release your hips down, cross your ankles. Let's come into a seat, the same pose as where we started, but this time make sure the other foot is forward than before. And it's usually the one that feels a little weird. Bring your hands one more time to your chest and to your belly and close your eyes. Taking a deep breath in and out. Asking yourself what feelings, what emotions, what stuff you want to open yourself up to today. What do you don't want to suppress anymore? What do you want to allow in and learn from? Reminding yourself that all emotions are valid and that they are all all right, they are good. And we can allow ourselves to see them 
and then let them go when the time's right. Connect your hands at your heart. Bow your head down to your heart. Lift your chin up and blink your eyes open. And I thank you for joining this practice. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Namaste.